We all know how great golden retrievers are for families we've seen the adorableness that gorgeous backside and extolled the virtues of French bulldog, themed everything. What about the dog breeds that fly under the radar? Surely there are other dogs who are just as adorable and family-friendly out there, right? If you're looking for a breed that is often overlooked and highly underrated, here are ten breeds for you. Number ten more than a guard dog, the Doberman Pinscher. If you love German Shepherds, the second most popular breed, consider the Doberman Pinscher. The breed originated in Germany in the late 19th century, taking its name from tax collector Louis Doberman, who wanted a medium-sized guard dog that was also a companion once favored by the police and the military. The breed was known for its intelligence, strength, and endurance. But Dobermans are much more than their historical job description. Dobermans are also affectionate, obedient, and loyal, and make good family dogs. Those that know Dobermans love them. Number nine, a quiet yet playful protector, the Bull Terrier. Bulldogs are consistently one of the act's top five most popular breeds. Often overlooked is the Bull Terrier, which combines the best of the bulldog in various terrier breeds. The act describes this playful breed as a three-year-old child in a dog suit, while the muscular Bull Terrier can seem a bit aloof. The truth is that the breed has a sweet, loving temperament. With a short, glossy coat, Bull Terriers need little grooming. The breed also rarely barks without a good reason, so be sure to listen when your Bull Terrier does speak up. Number eight, like a lab, the curly-coated retriever. The Lab Retriever has been the number one most popular dog breed in the United States for a record-breaking 26 years. But what if you want a breed that's just as family-friendly, trainable, and easy to care for, and also happens to be a little less well-known? We recommend the Curly Coated Retriever, which looks like a lab with a perm with its distinctive coat of tight water. Resistant curls. This strong, agile breed was developed to be a hunting dog and is one of the oldest breeds of retrievers. Number seven, a low maintenance cuddler, the Japanese Chin. The Japanese Chin is one of the lesser known lap dogs. Despite its name, the small breed originated in China, not Japan, and was bred to be a companion. The sensitive and intelligent Japanese Chin is cat-like in nature, imperiously running your household. The breed is also fastidious, mischievous, and occasionally stubborn. The breed's silky flowing coat is surprisingly low maintenance, although it does require regular grooming. Number six, calmer than the average terrier, the Sesky Terrier. The Sesky Terrier is basically a cross between the better-known Scottish Terrier and Celium Terrier. The muscular, short-legged Sesky has wavy facial hair and a coat that comes in several shades of gray. The breed was developed in the East Sesky Terrier. Requires daily exercise. Among the many terrier breeds, the Sesky Terrier is one of the calmest and can be reserved around strangers. Number five, active and in demand, the Brussels Griffin, a toy breed with a fancy name. The Brussels Griffin is not the typical pampered little dog. The breed has a terrier-like disposition and makes a good watchdog. The Brussels Griffin originated in Belgium in the early 1800s, where it was used to hunt rats. Intelligent, sensitive, and active. The Brussels Griffin loves to be with his people and needs daily exercise. It's a great devoted breed. Number four, a compact body with the big dog spirit. The toy Manchester Terrier, once bred to kill rats and chase rabbits for sport in Manchester, England, the toy Manchester Terrier is fast and fearless. The smooth-coated breed is mahogany tan and jet black, and is a smaller version of the Manchester Terrier. It's a great unsung breed, a friendly breed. The toy Manchester Terrier gets along well with children and other dogs. It's one of the few terrier breeds that developed in an urban environment. Number three, a distinctive-looking companion. The Skipper Key, another terrier alternative that gets overlooked. Skipper means little captain in Flemish. The distinctive breed stands no higher than 13 inches and has a thick black coat. It also has a beautiful little foxy face. They're just lovely developed in Belgium to be low maintenance vermin catchers and watch dogs. The Skipper Key has evolved into an endearing companion. Number two, more than a hunter, the American Foxhound. One of the first breeds developed in the United States, the American Foxhound is also one of the country's rarest native breeds. The American Foxhound developed from dogs that were brought from England to the American colonies in 1650. True hound breed, the American Foxhound is independent and stubborn with a strong hunting instinct. Like most dog breeds, the American Foxhound makes a good family pet if socialized early in life. 
If you like the look of a beagle, but you want a bigger dog, try an American fox sound. Number one gentle as a lamb, the Bedlington Terrier. The Bedlington Terrier is easily recognizable with a face that looks like a lamb's fleecy coat and arched back, but not too many people think of this breed first when selecting a dog named for a mining shire in England. The Bedlington Terrier is a natural hunter of vermin. The breed is mild, tempered, energetic, but not rambunctious, intelligent, but not mischievous, making it the perfect pet for a family with children. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. What breed of dog should be on this list? To let us know in the comments, here are some other cool videos. I know you'll enjoy. See you guys later. Are you ready to go?